to me reacting to Animal Crossing used to be so much darker by Jaden Animations. Now, I know about Animal Crossing and how it's it is oddly dark. I mean, you have the weird bunny thing that's creepy, I guess. I don't know, but there's more or less conspiracy theories, not really creepy. Like, the game isn't really creepy when you look at it, but, you know... I see so many people screaming at, at spiders running at them. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, anyways, guys, everything's in the description. Make subscribe to Jane Animations. And it's in the description. Let's just get right into it. Now. Ah, Animal Crossing. The game that's keeping most of the population sane while 2020 burns out. Sad. Our windows. Like many fans True. of the franchise, I have a very special place in my heart for Animal Crossing. See? I put it right there. Growing up, sure. I loved video games. Okay. But... I didn't have very many friends. Sad. And within those few friends, most of them weren't super into video games. Sad. So I grew up playing oh. games either alone or with my brother. Sad. Sad. What I'm getting yeah. at is I'm not used to being able to connect with people over video games, let alone get to experience them with my friends together. But the one game that my few friends True, did play was Animal that. Crossing Wild World on the DS. I remember playing Animal Crossing for hours, days, sometimes mostly weeks in a row during summer vacation with my best friend Kate. It was always the highlight of our summer and depending on your point of view that may or may not be depressing. My family also used to have a tradition to visit the rest of my family in Canada every July, so my brother and I would continue continue to play Animal Crossing with our cousins. Oh, Nothing okay. could stop us. Not even the great borders of the United States of America. We okay. had this game we made up where we all meet up at one person's town, dig a bunch of holes in the shape of a maze, and then one of us would chase the others around with a bunny hood, gas mask, and axe, like some sort of morbid tag. We called it oh. the bunny game, which looking back was a bit misleading in the innocence of the actual premise. When Animal Crossing well, New also Leaf was released, now, since Kate and I got our hands on it the day of our high school sophomore prom, and we very much wanted to ditch it entirely just for the game. It's not like we had dates or anything, but we ended up going anyway, and it was lame. All in all, I love Animal Shit. Crossing. Of I get that it it's not a game for everyone because of its slow pace and open-ended nature, but it was one of the few games I got to experience Honestly, with friends like on a really deep level and game. collected a bunch of fond like memories Minecraft, with. Now we have New Horizons. The game that parted the clouds and descended upon us when the world needed it most. I like the game a lot. I've well, got my gripes, that. which I'll get to at some no. point, but while playing the game, I started thinking about the original, Animal Crossing for the GameCube. I had a GameCube growing up, but my mom didn't buy Animal Crossing for us, so that meant I had no idea it existed. That's just how the world worked for me back as a kid. If my mom didn't buy it for me, then it didn't exist. So now, oh. as an adult, I've started to make the connection that not only do I have my own money to buy my own video games, but I can do whatever I want mostly. And using that newfound Shit. power, I've decided oh, to go back stuff. to the basics and experience Probably firsthand the, the beginning of one of my favorite game yeah, franchises. I know the real What's changed? What secrets have been hiding from me? Well, I guess we're about to find out together. Oh, it's the one of these videos. Scene. Rover walks again. over and asks if he can sit with me, promising not to fall asleep and drool on my shirt, to which I reply, no way! Wow! It's nice to know there's still plenty of rude people in the world. And he sits there anyway. So you go through the typical okay. beginning of an Animal Crossing so it's game. One of these Who are you? Again. I'm Jaden. Like where are you going? Monster. What's your credit card number and mother's maiden make. name? September 27th. My friend has a house for you because you're stupid. Okay. You arrive in town, meet Tom Nook, and he offers to let you check out the vacant houses he's got. Ah, uh, let's see. We've got medieval torture dungeon, haunted backyard garden shed, Chinese sweatshop locker room, and 15th century empty pool. Uh, yeah, I'll take a locker room, please. After settling on a place, Tom Nook okay. asks for the payment of 19,800 bells, to which I realize I have nothing. So I'm like, uh, no. And he's like, you better freaking give me the money. So I'm like, here, to which he realizes I barely have even 0.05% of what he wants from me, and he straight up laughs in my face. You only have a thousand bells? You're joking with me, right? Why, you're so short, I can't help but laugh. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> So he puts me to work at his shop to earn the rest of the money. You get various oh. tasks to complete for Nook, be it planting nice flowers okay. around his shop to make it look nice. I planted them around my house. Meeting the other villagers, Sad. making deliveries. Bro, when I delivered this Sue E chick her, like, signed copy of the notebook on Blu-ray or whatever junk she ordered, she completely just destroyed me out of nowhere. 
Why, that's mine. Why do you have it, Jaden? Are you working for Tom Nook or something? Oh, you are? <laughs> How amusing. You mean to tell me you didn't have enough money to buy a house when you moved? <laughs> Well, how silly. Were you the mental run to the litter or what? Oh, I'm just having a little fun with you. I suppose everyone has to take a bold step once in their lives. Okay. So you must not have any money to buy furniture. Don't be ashamed. Here, take this blue wardrobe. Y you simply must take it. I bet you go home to a sad little empty house every day, don't you? It may not be much, but beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> and that's that when face. I realized how absolutely brutal this game had the capability of being i heard that it could be sassy at some points okay. but i was straight up murdered by this, this gothic drag queen pig just for being a delivery boy you can't say that to the like <laughs> amazon prime <laughs> delivery guys what the heck <laughs> that's how you get your stuff smashed so you know what i did well, yeah. i sent the biggest guy in town rocco a letter and used my smooth talking skills to try and send him a signal and take care of her and just just in case that didn't work out, I made a community bulletin board post to warn the others. After you finish being a corporate oh. wage slave, the game finally becomes the Animal Crossing experience I'm used to. Catching bugs, finding fossils, waiting an entire week for Tom Nook to finally sell a stupid fishing rod. I'll admit, coming from New Horizons, the original Animal Crossing doesn't have much to offer. Maybe it held up better in the past, or I was able to have more fun with it because I was younger and easier to be entertained, but I, I found myself strapped on it. things to do. Sure, I could fish I for two hours straight to make money, it. but I could also just play another game. Why I think New Horizons is the best game in the series so far, big asterisk on the so far, is that it saw where players were taking the franchise and ran with it far beyond what we could have hoped for. Oh, people really enjoy being able to customize their house and are using the little pattern spaces to make cool paths for their town? Well then let's give them a bigger town! And more pattern spaces! And hundreds of new and modernized furniture items! And let them put them outside wherever and however they want! And let's let them shape the earth and sea! I've put hundreds of hours True. into New Horizons already, and I'm not nearly done with the game. My island still looks like crap. I played the original okay. Animal Crossing for a week or two and could only put at max an hour into it per day because I ran out of things I wanted to do. Oh, so New Horizons is the most superior game in every oh, possible way, Oh, then she's way, gonna get to criticism. Right? Ha ha ha, no. While New Horizons has much more for you to do, the thing I think the original Animal Crossing got right that the new one doesn't is the villagers. Since I would get bored of continuously failing at fishing in the GameCube version, I found myself talking to the villagers much more often, and that's where I had the most enjoyment. The conversations with the villagers in the GameCube version have so oh. much flavor. Sure, Sue E called me a mental runt of the litter just a minute ago, but that brought out something in me that New Horizons hasn't been able to do within 300 hours of me playing. Talking to the villagers in the GameCube version made me remember why I liked the game so much as a kid. They say and do interesting things. I don't know if it's just me, but New Horizons has some of the blandest texts I've seen in Animal Crossing yet. It feels like what they say is limited to like five things, <laughs> and I honestly don't enjoy talking to them and haven't built a single connection to any of them on my island. Oh. I don't care who moves in, just so long as they're really super hot. I'm talking hunkalicious. Feels like it's been raining all the time lately. I hate getting wet. Jaden, you feel the same, right? No, actually, I don't really mind. Oh, really? Well, why don't you just stay in the rain then, since you love it so much? And I hope you catch a cold! I don't know what it is about me, but I seem to be just as popular with boys and girls. It's madness. Meanwhile, in New Horizons... Hi, Jaden. Sometimes I like to sit. No, I don't want any! I'm telling you for the last time, you foul creature! <laughs> Go away, hippie! <laughs> oh, wait, it's just you. I thought it was another one of those weirdos handing out tissues. Hi, Jaden. I've been having a good day. Oh, All right, yeah, see you later. Shrivel up and blow away, shrimp. At one point, I walked up to Sue E, and she just started screaming. I'm begging you. Would someone please change that hideous town tune? Jaden, I highly doubt you have a talented bone in your body, but you do seem to be able to run fast. So be a dear and go change that horrible music, would you? So, of course, I changed the town tune. Anything for Sue E, her wish is my command. I'll say, normally I'm not a big town tune changer in the games, but 
this one made me laugh. Okay. Is that better, Sui? You like that? I wasn't expecting to have an arch nemesis in Animal Crossing again because it hasn't happened to me since Wild World, but Sui really just came into my life and slapped me around, begging me to hate her. Say, didn't you owe Tom Nook a fairly large sum of money? I was just wondering, did you ever manage to pay him back? Well, what's it to ya? Wow, you seem a little touchy, Jaden. I guess you're still just a burden to society. But that's what Nintendo got wrong in the new game. I want so drama. I want enemies and bloodshed. The animals in New Horizons feel like just objects for me to judge on appearances and get items from. All in all, I very Isabel. much like Animal Crossing. I know New Horizons Sad. isn't for everyone and is far from perfect, but I'm a big fan of the type of game it is and the cons don't outweigh the pros for me. Do I wish the villagers had a shred of life to them? Yes. Do I hate the new music they wrote for it and desperately want to have the old music back? Yes, but I can put my Godzilla statues together like they're on a date. Is the old Animal oh, Crossing okay. lacking in objectives and even slower than I could have imagined? Yes, but at least I get verbally abused by my neighbors and can hit Sue E with my net. <laughs> okay, so yeah, honestly, this wasn't a bad video. I really enjoyed it. There's something at the end and I'm not going to react to it because it's it has to do with, you know, the odd ones out card game, but uh, yeah, honestly, this yeah, this wasn't a bad video. I enjoyed it. I I like. I feel like all of our videos are starting to become like this now, where you just have the where where you just have this sort of editing where it's like animation and then game. And I think the main reason why is because it's just easier to make. Because you can just get a capture card, get gameplay, and then animate it, like, the way you want. I mean, sure, the animation definitely takes a lot longer still, but again, you have, like, gameplay moments, so not all of it is animated. But, uh, yeah, overall, this was actually a pretty good video. I enjoyed it. But, yeah, anyways, guys, if you enjoyed, leave a like, and video, subscribe to my channel. See you next one. Bye! <laughs>